guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be like a faith slash lifestyle video. Um, I just really been thinking about something and it's been on my heart to share. Sorry, I'm like super direct. So y'all let me know how y'all are down below. How you're living, how you doing, how you feeling. If anything's new, definitely leave it down below. But I'm just afraid that us as believers sometimes that will miss the mark when it comes to reaching a certain people that we're supposed to reach. It's easy to minister and to chill with Christians, but what is that like when you're not walking with someone who has the same beliefs? Like you trying to minister to somebody who's not a Christian. It's totally different. And I do feel that we need to start knowing like where people come from. We all need to realize that we have a past and we just look at the person as an overall human being and we either see their sin, we see a quality that we don't like about them, we see the way that they act, but we never question to ourselves why do they act the way they act. And it's a reason for it, for that because everybody is ultimately going through life with a viewpoint of past experiences. So one person who has been abused and molested and raped is going to be thinking totally different from someone who never had that happen to them. Knowing someone's past um, can definitely help us to approach things differently when it comes to the, pot, the body of Christ in friendships and ministering to people um, and it just was so heavy on my heart because I remember one day um, I was like you know what like sometimes I do hesitate to hang out with people who have a different viewpoint God had to bring that wall down and be like whoa like what is your mission on this earth is it just to reach people who are Christian or is it to actually spread the gospel like the Great Commission says and he commanded all believers to do but are we reaching people just in the body of Christ or are we reaching people who are not believers which is very important because I feel like our viewpoint and our mission on earth as believers is to reach people who are not saved like we're supposed to be so like to look at a person and be like it's not even like their sin but it's their salvation it's eternal life like when it comes to the bigger issue and that's something that I'm always pressing and it's something that I'm always trying to talk to people because some people will come to me and be like yo Imari like this person's doing this and they're living this way and I'm just like oh my gosh I lived that way before and I think that the simplest form of sometimes ministering to people who are not believers is to just love on them like to me I feel like as believers sometimes we can act like we'll get we're, we'll catch your sin if we're around them that's why it's so important to put boundaries up like if you don't I'm not saying to continuously hang out with someone who has a different mindset but it's not like I can't hang out with them at all because how would you ever get the chance to empower or impact someone's life if you feel that you're going to somehow take on what they're going through, you know, or take on the lifestyle that they currently have. So I just really wanted to do this video to just be mindful of your approach when it comes to people of the body of Christ because I feel like right now what I'm seeing on social when it comes to um, believers or, yeah, like believers is we're just so caught up in sound advice and I'm like whoa people who don't know the gospel or they aren't even believers they won't understand it and yes I do feel like it's so important for believers to um, have sound teachers who have sound pastors who know how how to understand the Word of God however like if our great commission is to reach people with the gospel we need to get back to the main thing um, so I just did this video to inspire you to so just watch your approach with people. I hope that this video definitely helped. It was just something quickly that I wanted to um, share. Uh, starting to ask people like where have they, where do they come from? Like that's a, a question that I've been asking people. Uh, in June I went to the preteens retreat and this was like my third year doing it and it was one of my room leaders that I was just like what is your testimony because she said she was the only Christian in her household and I'm like dad like that has to be super hard like how did God reach you like and, and I just wanted to know her past and like she had such a strong past and it kind of changed my approach of just how I saw her as an overall being so I just wanted to share this video because I think that we should always think of the approach just so we're not turning people off um, just so 
we have the right approach with people. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this very quick video. Um, I want to thank you guys so, so much for your support, as always. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.